In this lecture, we're going to examine yet another force that deals specifically with certain solids. Now, some solids have the ability to stretch or compress a certain distance, after which they can resume their initial state. Now, we're going to examine a special type of solid known as a spring. Springs are essentially coiled solids that have the ability to compress or stretch more than usual or normal solids. So let's take a certain spring, let's take some spring and attach one end of the spring to our ceiling. So this is our ceiling or some wall and we attach a spring to it. Now we don't attach anything to this end and we mark this as our initial point x equals zero. Now we take a mass, some mass with mass m and we attach it to this end of the spring. What happens? Well now our spring will displace or stretch a certain amount. Now my question is, what is the change in displacement and how do you find it? So how do you find this distance that our spring stretched? To find this, we have to use a certain law known as Hooke's Law. Now, Hooke's Law is given by the following equation. The force applied to my uh, string is equal to the negative of Hooke's constant. So this constant depends on the type of string and the material that the string is made from. Now, this change in x is simply what the displacement or distance traveled by the spring is. So basically, in this case, to find our force, we simply take our mass of the object and multiply it by our g, our gravitational constant. And that will give me my force that this mass and gravity exerts on this spring. And this negative sign comes from the fact that this is pulling down and the force of the spring is pulling up on it. So this is our action force and our reaction is this negative force. So they have equal magnitude but different signs. One is pulling down and one is pulling up. So now let's look at the following important point. The yield point of a spring is the point after which our spring will not return to its initial position. In other words, if we take a string and we stretch it out a certain amount, and if we reach the yield point and we let go, our spring will not return back into its initial position. It will stay in that point. Now, if you drag the spring to a point before its yield point and you let go, that spring will return or spring back into its original position.